Hey everyone, let me start off my video in the way I always do and say sorry that it's been a while. It's been busy. Being a college student with a job and other responsibilities takes up a lot of time, but clearly not enough time because I was able to play through Mario Wonder. I got it literally as a midnight release, not even the digital version, the physical version, because I have an obsession with getting physical versions of games for some reason. I don't know, I just kind of like the aesthetic of having it there and being able to play it in the future without anything happening. I, I, I know that like physical games, things can happen to them. That's not an impossible thing, obviously. And I'm not the type when they ask you at GameStop, hey, do you want to... Do you want to cover the game for an extra... I don't even know what they charge, but I'm, I'm not the type to say yes to that. But regardless, I do like to get physical games. I could do a whole video on physical games, clearly. That's not what I'm gonna talk about. I just wanna talk about Mario Wonder, my time with it, what I thought about it, and yeah, let's get into that. So I'm briefly gonna touch upon some gripes I have with the game, just to get them out of the way, because in case it's not obvious, I think this game is amazing and I'm a super big Nintendo fan. So the two gripes I have with the game, I guess, if there are any, are that Yoshi, well, I was gonna say Yoshi and Nabbit, but Nabbit, it makes sense for him not to take damage, but I wish there was a mode that you could play as Yoshi without Yoshi taking damage because it would be fun to play through the game again as Yoshi, but I feel like it'd make it too easy if, you know, the only way you can get damaged is by falling off. Like it would have been cool. Maybe that'll come in a future DLC. I don't know. The other gripe I had with the game, which by the way, in this I will be talking about spoilers, but some ways of unlocking special levels, I believe in two worlds, you have to play through a level again. And there's no hint at the fact that you have to play through the level again, other than not showing 100% completion through the world map. And I thought that was kind of dumb. I mean, why not just unlock it at the first point? So yeah, now that I'm done talking about my gripes, let's talk about what I loved about the game. This game is possibly my favorite 2D Mario of all time. I don't know if I could say it's as good as like New Super Mario Bros DS, but I also have this huge nostalgia factor there because that was my first Super the 2D Super Mario game, I guess, that I was like really, really attached to that brought back really fond memories. But even with my nostalgia bias aside, it is the best. I love the talking flower. Everyone hates the talking flower, apparently, but I love it. I thought it was cool. Minus in the levels that it's like, oh, take a deep breath, try again. But everything is so great. The power-ups work amazing. The wonder events are really cool. I would have liked to see more wonder events and some more ideas explored, but I like that every level, except for those extra take a break levels, had a wonder event. And some of them repeating was cool, but yeah, again, I would have liked to see some more stuff I'm hoping that Mario Wonder gets a sequel of sorts where we get to see Wonder Events expanded upon, possibly seeing what we've seen before, but a bunch of other stuff. I really like the the Mario Odyssey approach to everything, getting to turn into enemies and stuff, especially Goombas. I thought that was quite a cool thing to see. Some of those levels were very hard. Again, I would have liked to see more of those things. I know I said I wasn't gonna to talk too much about gripes, but the boss battles were kind of underwhelming. Bowser Jr. fights were cool. The first one was the coolest. All the other ones were meh. Those are a lot of other people's complaints as well. I like the Wiggler races. I like the foreground background stuff. I like the badges so much. The badges are amazing. Not even just because, you know, I like Mario RPGs, but Having badges that change the playstyle and let you just have different abilities, really cool. Even if they are inspired by the, a lot of other 2D games, I thought that was pretty incredible. And yeah, level design, amazing, new enemies. They just, everything was actually new for the first time. Not just like a graphical update and even the graphical update, come on, it's a completely different style. I loved that as well. I couldn't get enough of this game. I 100% of this game with my brother and there were a lot of times that he just wasn't down to play or he had something else to do. So I was just like, yeah, whatever. I will play it on my own and get through these levels. And I had a great time. Let me also talk about my favorite wonder event. My favorite wonder event in the game is the Piranha Plant Parade. I was playing this game at like, I think 3 a.m. before going on a trip and I saw that happen. And my smile was... 
I mean, no one was there to see it, but you, you, you wouldn't have been able to miss it. I got so excited at that. I thought that was adorable. It was really fun and wacky. As I mentioned before, I would have liked to see more things like that explored. Some highlights, again, are turning into enemies, stages moving. Turning into that ball enemy was also really fun. Uh, there was this one part where you turn into this like cake enemy, I forgot the name, and you have to like solve puzzles by moving spiky balls around. Thought that was cool. Uh, getting to change the background. Yeah, there was a lot of cool stuff. Apparently, I don't know if this is true, but there was supposedly an event where you were going to turn into a giant life-size like live action Mario in a stage. And I really, I really wish they would have done that. I wish they would have explored more things like that because this game is very experimental, but still plays it safe in some regards. I'm glad they're at least moving in this direction. So hopefully we'll see stuff like that in a future game that really is just like, wow, I did not expect to see that. I try to avoid all spoilers of this game before playing. So I was able to just kind of see everything uh, for the first time, except stuff that was in trailers. I thought the online was okay. I mean, it wasn't anything bad and I did use it sometimes. So it was helpful to be able to revive. Yeah, I didn't really write too many notes. Uh, just kind of my thoughts on the game. I said I would do a video on it, so I'm like, hey, here's a video on it. I really like it. Maybe I'll do more in the future if I have time. It's just been super, super busy. If you got through this whole video, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. And yeah, thank you guys. If you're still here, I will be uploading some of my band stuff this month to the channel. So look forward to that.